guys. Hey, War Hero. <clears throat> Gonna go ahead and bring the mic closer. I'm gonna go ahead and lower this for a bit. And kind of set up everything else. Um, let's put the window over here. Hello, Air Dragon. I suppose I should uh, spread the link around. Um, my server can handle that. There we go. Spreading it around. Um, Okay, so I can. Okay, so I've got five people so far. Oh, hey, voice, how are you doing? Um, currently spreading the uh, link around, and hopefully getting 
you know, a bit of an audience. I think it's spreading around good enough. <clears throat> so what are we doing today? Um, I'm getting. I'm actually uh, making up for a lost time since I skipped a uh, stream last Friday. It's going to be a bit of a double stream. Um, for the information explained, I'm going to wait until. Um, the viewer count kind of goes up uh, at an efficient rate like uh, let's say if I can get it up to 20 then I can like kind of explain some things because there's a little bit of um, there's a little bit of background that I kind of have to get off my chest <laughs> um, it's nothing too serious um, but you guys do deserve to hear an explanation you know <clears throat> Hello, Costa guy. I just hope this isn't too awkward. Well, Magical Star, that's actually, you know, that's that's really the tip of the surface. There's actually something a little more going into it, so. Um, not to worry, it's nothing too critical, but it is something that, you know, I kind of want to share with you guys. That's, that's, that's where it kind of starts. Um, <clears throat> so we got 12 people so far, or that's at least according to the counter on the uh, laptop. Um, let me see if I can see the actual count on, yeah, it says 12 on, uh, on the page. How long have I been live for now? Eight and a half minutes. All right. The 11 to 12, yeah. What voice said. Also, if you're wondering why I sound a little tired, I've been kind of, um, like, after I got off work and I went to sleep, I was asleep, and then I woke up at, like, 2, because Chrissy wanted to go shopping for a bit, and afterwards, I passed out again until I woke up at around, like, 5-ish. That's what happens when you work a graveyard shift. Uh, let me change the screen for a bit. No, 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 no. There we go. So that way... You know, I can actually, I can see the chat there. Yes, I made a tweet.
I'm going to regret typing that. Have you never played the Burnout series? I don't know what that is. Luigi Man, uh, Keyframe has been doing better. It's a racing game with an emphasis on wrecking your opponent. Okay. <clears throat> Thoughts on Diddy Kong Racing. Do you consider it a guilty pleasure or just a Mario Kart clone? More like both. Wasn't a big fan of the game. Had a frustrating time with it. Desert Samurai, I'm saving Super Metroid until after uh, Ellie's wedding. More like late June. I'm going to go ahead and type it down. There. <clears throat> I believe that's on a Friday, isn't it? Yep, it is. All right. Walkthroughs make it look easy, but no, the controllers are wonky and undrivable. Oh no, the like the controls were garbage. I had a hard time working with it. Am I gonna do something special on my birthday? I don't know. Uh, it hasn't been on my mind.
Watson 25 V16 Revenge. I don't know what that is. I like birthdays, but not the getting older part. <laughs> the getting older part stinks. Well, that's kind of how birthdays are. You, you age one year older. I mean, that's, that's kind of the point of how a birthday uh, is a thing. So yay, this Saturday I'm going to be 31. Before I know it, I'm going to be growing a thick white beard. My hair is going to be all, I don't know, thin, white, probably bald. I don't know. I'm going to need to get a cane some old man clothes slowly walking across the street okay it's a car from the burnout uh, paradise remastered okay how did Blissey react to the highlight reel which highlight reel there's like there's 11 right now and there's like the 12th one I'm working on Banjo Kazooie was my childhood. I still have the cartridge. Oh, good for you, man. You still have something that's, uh, you know, nostalgic with you. Old and Fo What? I'll be Old and Fox? Is that, is that supposed to be, like, a play on word? Give me the kids to get off the lawn. I know what it means. has it been now? It's been 20 minutes. I should get something started up. There we go. There's a. Uh, is there something I started out with? Wait, did I start at Mario World? Oh well. Booga booga booga. Huh. <laughs> nice play on words there, Ellie. But they're not play on words. Why did I say that? <laughs> hey, Ellie, how was your friend's silence? Ah, oh, shit, I jinxed myself. I'm not drunk, I'm just not thinking straight right now. See, that death would be a comma. Fuck you. <laughs> you know what? I kind of needed that. Um, okay. Um, I think I should be ready. So, last Friday, uh, I made a tweet where I gave out the announcement that 
Um, as a 25th anniversary, I was going to review The Lion King, but also I was going to do like a little mini series where I review each installment, like the sequel, One and a Half, and um, The Lion Guard Pilot, which there are some things I do have to say about The Lion Guard, uh, the pilot, I mean, not the, not the series. But uh, after going through some rough times, originally I wanted to get it done on the 15th because that would originally mark the date of the release. Uh, of when the movie came out. June 15th, 1994 was the release date. No, I didn't memorize for my childhood. I actually looked it up on Wikipedia. I was actually too young to know about dates and years. Um, I was a bit of a slow learner, you know, when it came to that shit. I finally began to recognize it in, like, when I was eight years old, and at that point I was, like, what, 96? Son of a bitch. Um... And that's when I started to estimate, okay, so Christmas is coming around. All right, Valentine's Day is coming around. My birthday's coming around. Then it comes fall, and then lather, rinse, and repeat. So, basically, okay, so back to what I was saying. Um, I wanted to get it done that day, but unfortunately, I went through some unusual co uh, uh, computer issues. And then I had to re-render it, uh, grammar issues, and then one after another. Then I stumbled upon some severe copyright issues until eventually I took out all portions of what would be detected uh, automatically. And then afterwards, I shit you not, the video got blocked as soon as I uploaded it. So I'm just sitting there thinking, wow, Disney, I know that you're very strict on some of your work, but goddamn. Like, you won't even bother to try to, like, claim copyright to make revenue off of it. No, you'll block it worldwide. Um, many will say, you know, it's Disney. And Disney is incredibly... They'll have a stick up their rectum about their property being, like, partially used even for fair use. So, as of now, I have... I've already disputed the claim. And it was stated that within the next 48 hours, it's still going to be blocked... Um, it's been a few days, and it's no longer, like, blocked worldwide, but I'm still keeping it, uh, unlisted. Like, it's set to being scheduled, and I keep postponing it until this, uh, this claim is taken care of. Because I didn't expect it to get this serious. It's really gonna be an uphill battle, um, because it's Disney. It's a very, very big corporation that... It's, 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 like, it's not going to be easy. Um, there's going to be, like, one of two things. Either I would have to consider canceling it and just probably just never review the movie, period. Or I'll be lucky to get, um, the review of the first movie out. Um, I get it. You know, they're protecting their property. That's perfectly understandable. But the other thing is, is that the big risk... Is that if it comes to, you know, filing an appeal and then... Because I, I really cannot risk filing a counter notification. Because doing that will risk getting me sued. And Disney can definitely get some really big lawyers. Even if you have, you know, full-on points of fair use. They'll, they'll do anything in their grasp to help you... Um, to help win Disney's case. And then by that point... God damn it, what the fuck? Yeah, it's a review, but, like, they'll go ahead and, um... They'll try to win the case, and then it just, like... It, it's... It, it's really not gonna do any favors. It's not gonna end well. So, it, it's it's definitely gonna be an uphill battle that I won't guarantee to win. Let's see, take the show with you to knock out the moles. Wait, what shell? You're also sending uh, your personal information. Yeah! Um, and, you know, there's a shit ton of other problems that are happening. I don't see any shells around here, voice. Oh, oh. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Kiss my ass. Eh, whatever. I can already tell the people in the comments on YouTube are saying that I'm not playing the game correctly. I've been getting some of those lately. But yeah, um, let's see. Any context for a video of the Lion King character prequel movie we're watching? Such as paper fun. 
Um, I don't know how to answer that question. We should boycott Disney because this is fucking ridiculous. Magical Star, if you're going to try to protest to a very, very big corporation like Disney, um, good luck. You're not going to get, uh, get very far. Dear Disney, suck all our balls or whatever private parts we have. Um, it, it's, it's infuriating. I get it. Uh, but there's really nothing much else that can be done. It's, it's at that point where Disney has already gained a pretty bad reputation for many, many reasons in which we've already talked about it before. The idiocy of what fucking uh, Bob Iger did uh, releasing Winnie the Pooh on purpose against Harry Potter just so that he can claim that 2D animation doesn't sell anymore. Uh, being financially abusive to evade taxes and a bunch of other stupid shit that, oh boy. Uh, hey, do you guys remember a time when Disney didn't drink the donkey piss cool <laughs> Good one, Ellie. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that is, uh, that's, that's really the best way to put it. Magical Star, thank you for hosting. Uh, Death Raven, thank you for hosting, and to anybody else who I may have lost track of from all those updates, uh, thank you for hosting. So, um, so yeah. Um, so these consequences I have to be very mindful of, and the best way for me to approach this is one of a couple of things. Um, wait, uh, if I'm lucky enough, I can wait until the dispute expires next month, and after doing that, I can actually release the video because I don't want it to be out and the video gets blocked or some shit like that. Um, the, uh, what's it? When did Disney become EA? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Desert Samurai. Jesus. I remember when Disney was against EA for this stupid shit of Battlefront 2, but fuck, dude. See, Disney. I hate Disney so much. And can cancel games as well, which is split slash second around the time they bought them. Either way, um, thank you, Bull Venomous Pie and Kenny R. Ken Pony 197 for hosting. And so here's an idea do what Jim Sterling did, i.e., copyright deadlock. Basically, include different clips from different corporations so that they put copyright claims uh, on none and can take down. I don't even know what that is. Um, so just wait until Disney consumes EA. It's a, I will forever be savage. Ha ha ha. Where's my trophy? Desert Samurai. Ellie Ellie wants to call and fight with you. I mean, she's right there in the fucking chat, so. But no, getting back to what I was saying. Um, if I'm lucky, the dispute may expire and the video will no longer have that claim. And I can deal with that. Or, if they reject it, and I would have to send an appeal. Now, when it comes to sending an appeal, you don't get a copyright strike immediately, or at least based off of the uh, experience that I had. There was one review that I had that its appeal was rejected, and I had 17 or 14 days to do something about it. And that was to cancel the appeal, which you have an option to do. If you don't, you get a copyright strike. But maybe that was just one review. Um, making an appeal, it is a bit more serious, and it's a bit of a risk there. The biggest risk, as I stated before, is the counter-notification. If I file a counter-notification, um, I also run the risk of getting sued. And I've already repeated myself there before. I'm not going to talk about it again. Um... There's, like, other options that I was uh, told before, like, one of which is that I would just re-edit the video and I would filter some blur effect and put some, like, disclaimer saying, uh, Disney copyright claim this or something like that. And that looks really tacky, and you guys deserve a better visual look than that. Another of which is just upload it on another video platforming site, and I would just make a redirect video. The problem with that is, is that redirect videos can be marked as spam, and... That's a risk that I remember a while back Tricky Fox's channel was deleted temporarily and a part of which was believed uh, to be that there were several redirect videos from many other channels and I can't run that kind of risk. 
Um, and the other which I just don't like making it uh, inconvenient to any viewers who stumble upon a video and having to click a link in the description box. It will not be worth it. Um, on the night when I had to go to work and I uploaded the video and I got that stupid block claim, um, I had some time to process thinking, you know, a lot of effort was put in, but at the very least I did put it out there or at least try to, or I made a video of it somewhat and I could just deal with, you know, not bothering to review the movie and just not bother uploading it at all. Because if Disney is going to be such a stuck up, then they don't deserve it. You know, they don't deserve to hear my voice uh, said about one of their beloved films. I know that sounds spiteful, but I'm not the type of person who likes to be tacky with some content that I make. I mean, there's some that I can have fun with, but, you know, there, there's a reason why I've uh, I prefer not to do that because I've seen it with other people's channels before and it was annoying to me. I didn't like having to click a link in the description box of something at the expense of a copyright claim or some other stupid shit. <clears throat> it's, it's annoying and nobody should ever have to go through that. And I'm not going to follow in the same footsteps that everybody else had to do. You know what the whole offer of our genocide is? YouTube will blow the sweaty hairballs of corrupted shitty corporations like Disney and shit, and they'll willingly fuck over the very audience that made it possible for them to be the internet giant they are. Um, <clears throat> that's... I think that's already happening. I mean, there was one point, uh, Ellie, I remember years ago, I think you probably had an account there too, I don't know, but there was Vidme, and Vidme was going to be a big competitor with YouTube, but for some reason, it's no longer there. And... I guess uh, no other video platform has stepped up yet, like not Vimeo or Dailymotion or uh, any other video platform that I can't currently think of at the top of my head. Um, the only thing I could say is, is that copyright claims, they're infuriating. Uh, see, it died because of YouTube Monopoly? Jesus. So I guess the other uh, video platformers have to figure out some way to step up much better. Um... I just had a scary thought, even though G, uh, G4 is ending, but with G5 taking place of the My Little Pony brand, what if Disney buys the MLP brand as a whole? What would happen to all the fan MLP? Oh, boy. Um, I don't think that's likely to happen because MLP is still owned by Hasbro, and primarily it's a toy brand, whereas Disney focuses on either animation or cinema. And there really isn't much of a uh, much of a connection there, so I doubt that. Unless Disney somehow wants to buy Hasbro, I don't know why they would want to buy Hasbro. That's a toy manufacturing company, whereas uh, companies like Marvel and Lucasfilms, which is what Disney bought, those are major film companies that make a lot of money. And with Disney buying them, they're just you know it, it's 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 a growing thing like a growing plant that you know they're just trying to seed off of i don't think they're gonna get much of anything off of hasbro so uh i wouldn't i wouldn't panic over that i doubt that would ever happen basically if you make a video on the movie and include clips from games and corporations like nintendo disney will put a claim on it but it can't take it down because nintendo and other game corporations claimed it all well um i've already had a bit of an uphill battle with nintendo before um Fun fact, when I uploaded the first three uh, Let's Play videos of Super Mario World, they were all claimed. When it came to the other um, the other Let's Plays, like, I didn't have that issue before, so I'm just sitting there thinking, why Super Mario World in particular? So, um, I went and I was disputing, and then I started to file an appeal, and at that point, the claims were taken off. So... It, it, it's a bit of um, I, I'm I'm starting to lose track here, but basically, um, things are the way they are. Um, I doubt Disney would buy Hasbro. I don't think they want to buy Hasbro. By that point, they'll want to like buy Mattel. They'll want to buy Milton Bradley and other fucking ma like other toy brands, which is really stupid. I mean, they ha I think I guess they had an association in order to publish the toys, but they're made for movies. That's what Disney is for. They're they're for movies, you know. 
They'll buy anything where they can make money. Yeah, pretty much. Spe oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I, I won the battle with uh, Nintendo on Super Mario World. They try to pull a sneaky move, and this has been done a few times before. Um, okay, thank you for the trivia, Morpheus. I didn't know that Milton Bradley is a subsidiary... Uh, subsidiary... Whatever. It, it's, a, it's a part of Hasbro. I'm gonna get shit from mispronouncing that. But no, um... But Disney is primarily made just for making movies, and they're going to focus more on that. So when it comes to toy brands, I don't think they're going to, uh, you know, let's see. Copyright deadlock is basically a copyright claim tug of war and a stalemate. I really don't know what that is. Let's see, even though Mattel are uh, in a bit of money trouble. Uh, in any case, um... Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, did, uh, Nintendo tried to pull a fast one. I talked about this before. Um, you're not going to find it anymore because I deleted it. It's, you know, it's it's in no use for any, like, highlight reels. Um, there, was a, there was a playthrough of, uh, what is it, Kirby's Dream Land. And, of course, you know, if it's a visual uh, claim, I can just, you know, file a dispute saying, hey, it's a Let's Play, and those are where I commentate on it. It's under fair use. Um... But they try to pull a sneaky one and claim over the background music of the game. And I'm just sitting there thinking, well, you shitheads. Thinking, aha, you're using the background music. You're not commenting over that, so that's not fair use. And that that's them trying to pull a fast one. And I'm just sitting there thinking, Nintendo, you guys are fucking sleazebags. Fuck you. Piss off. Fu like, suck my dick. Fundle my balls. I'm going to try to fight back. I, I sent a dispute. Of course, they rejected it. But luckily for me, the video was not in any use because it's a it's a Let's Play that I can't really make use for a highlight reel. And I don't know if you noticed that on my channel. I've kind of taken most of the earlier uh, videos down. Um, I did a Let's Play of DuckTales before, and I did it again uh, much better than before. But basically, Nintendo was trying to pull a fast one, and... Um, funny enough, when I was actually, like, having to re-render The Lion King, I was, uh, sharing a clip to prove a point from, uh, an exchange of dialogue. They bought immediately claimed the background music. I'm like, fuck! I can't even do that. Like, they're so goddamn strict. Um, but yeah, no, these, these companies are always desperate to try to work around things. Like, as is, there's already, you know, the four-second claim that Angry Joe made. And I always enjoy watching that because I feel his pain. Uh, this has happened with a few of my other videos, mostly the much earlier, earlier videos where I actually did have third-party music. Um, and there was, like, barely, like, 10 seconds. Like, I thought the threshold for a, um, a detection, whether it's a manual detection or an auto detection, that if you're using a third-party music and it's over 30 seconds, then, yeah, that's a problem. Or if it's 10 seconds. But now, if you're using it for, like, even a few seconds, hippity-hoppity, your video's now my property, <laughs> you know? And it's just, fuck you, major companies. You are that desperate to just say, oh, you're stealing my copyright. By the way, Morpheus, yes, a new copyright soundtrack. You do not want to use any copyrighted music. In fact, in the Lion King review, I've refrained from using any of the soundtrack like none of the Hans Zimmer music none of the musical stuff when I said about um, that you know the background music was claimed it was from a clip of the movie that I had no control of hey honey what y'all talking about um, I was, I'm explaining to them about the issue with the Lion King review where's your video games uh, I'm gonna start in a bit oh you haven't started the stream yet yeah but yeah um uh, but prior prior to that, whenever it came to the background music on the like the review narration, it was just filled with Kevin McLeod music. I don't know how you pronounce the name. It's from Comtech. Honey, how do you pronounce that name? I don't know. I just call it Kevin McLeod. Kevin McLeod. That's an odd way to pronounce it because it's spelled E odd. E O D. I mean, yeah, but I don't care. Either or, um, it was filled with a bunch of royalty free African based music. So that way, um, so that way, there wouldn't be any uh, background music claim, and 
I even use like let's say piano uh, background music, and I mean that's that kind of stuff that is royalty free. But it's all just pure loyalty free with the, the inclusion of one track that was a fan cover of The Lion King, an orchestral cover by the name of Parademics or something like that. It's a beautiful uh, orchestral cover. I uh, got a hold of him, got his permission to uh, be a part of the review, and he's completely fine with it. Um, but even with all that, it's just a visual detection now, and I don't know what is to come next. I'm kind of... Yeah, no, they, they, they try to pull, like, different sleazy moves and such. But, like I said, it's an uphill battle. I've already explained this part that you've already just talked about. Uh, but I think you guys uh, kind of get the point uh, around here. So, yeah, um, as I talk about this, don't do anything stupid. Don't try to go directly to Disney and throw harassment or anything like that. You know, that doesn't make me or anybody else better. Yeah. So. Oh, ah! oh, ow. Oh. <clears throat> There's a reason professionals do that, not you. Oh, fuck you too. The point? Disney is scum. <laughs> so, anyways. Uh, I've been in this pre-show for 43 minutes. Jesus, I'm going to have to, like, trim that down. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put this into an intermission. I'm going to go make myself some coffee. In order to, you know, for another way to celebrate the 25 years of The Lion King, what better way than to play the fucking game? Uh, so you're going to watch me become utterly frustrated with it. There's a whole section that I can explain on what I feel about the game. In the meantime, I'm going to put this into a, um, a uh, an intermission, and then I'll be back. So...